And hi everyone. So we're getting a lot of information coming out within the with, during this weekend, and we got a bunch of new evolutions that just popped up. So let's get started, shall we? First up, and I'm just going down a list for Cerebi right now, and I'm actually going to have the Cerebi page up right here for easier access. Uh, we have the official reveal of Cutify's evolution, which is known as uh, Ribombi. I believe it's, yeah, Ribombi. Ribombi. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Da -da 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 um, but no, Ribombi, which is the, we go from the B-Fly Pokemon to the B-Fly Pokemon. It <laughs> It grows a full eight inches, or a full four inches, so going from four inches to eight. And, whoop, there we go. Focus, there we go. There it is. Isn't it cute? My sister's even just like, ah, it's cute. Darn it. And then just make sure that glare kind of goes away. There we go. Yeah, so it goes from there to there. Uh, it's There's nothing super special about the Pokemon. It makes little puff balls that it uses for attacks. It can, uh, they can also be used as, like, um, delicacies? Um, high price supplements, not delicacies, but high price supplements. They don't get like hot in the rain, so if you have one and it gets wet, make sure you dry it off with your Pokemon thing. Um, so refresh, that's it. But we have Bon Sweet's evolutions. Yes, evolutions, not uh, just one. Uh, so Bon Sweet first turns into Steeny, Steeny. Which it goes from it goes from little bun sweet guy there to little prepubescent girl in the dress there. Uh, apparently, it has a very hard head. Uh, yeah, but uh, upon evolving, fragrance becomes even more delicate, but gains a uh, tomboy-like uh, personality. Living together with why don't I just read from here? <laughs> Living together uh, with one is quite an ordeal as it moves around, it spins, uh, Kellex striking near objects specifically can care less, it unleashes combos moving using the Kallax. Uh, uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the little thing on top of its head. Uh, on its head and hard wings. First it smacks opponents with the Kallax on its head and when opponents flinch it, use, it lands a whacking great kick. It usually does the trick. And then it finally turns into Teresina. Teresina. Which goes from girl in the dress to, I'm guessing, some sort of beauty queen like Pokemon. Uh, and there it is. Big old thighs. Big old butt. Um, overall, it's, a, it's an interesting design line. So much for that Bon Sour crap we thought we, thought we were going to get. Um, and I'm just scrolling up for some of the other ones right now. Uh, but this, it's... It has the nature of a high class Nobel. So basically, it like goes from Bon Sweet to like some sort of pr like Miss Teen America kind of thing to Miss Un a Queen basically, kind of like a it, like a beauty pageant queen kind of. Any Pokemon under human approaches it with an evil mind will be punished forthwith. Uh, it even turns to a fearsome glare upon its own trainer if the two are not fully in sync or if the trainer's orders. It to move the uh, use a move that'll be ineffective. Only the strongest Stinny are able to evolve, and when this happens, the Stinny evolve with the blessing of other Stinny. It uses its strength to protect the Bone Sweet. It's uh, is a high kicking or virtuoso. Has honed these skills beyond level it achieved as a Stinny, and it attacks with graceful movements at the same time. Its fragrance memorizes opponents, dealing with it them as yeah, dealing them a secondary attack. Uh, now, that being said, it has two things. One has a new attack, which called Trop Kick, Tropical Kick, or Drop Kick combined. But two, it has a new ability called Queenly Majesty, which pretty much, whereas um, Dazzling uh, Dazzle for Bruxious makes, can't, uh, makes it ineffective against... Uh, I can't actually remember what Dazzle did. I, hold on one second, actually. Because Queenly Majesty uh, pretty much cancels out... Uh, blocks priority moves, whereas Dazzle prevents moves with speed increasing priority moves from hitting. It's the same thing. Oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, in fact, it would actually make even more sense. You could have given her Dazzle. <laughs> it's the same thing. I don't get that. Anyway, uh, ha um, then Jangmo's evolutions are fully revealed. We have. Hakmodo, or Hakmo-o, not Modo, but Homo-o, 
and here's an actual good quality picture of him. And I uh, and I still go by my basis. He's got a very charmeleon esque design to him. His scales look a little like fire. It's pretty cool. Uh, they train by themselves. They lose scales, but they instantly grow back. They're honing it, honing their abilities so they can evolve, fighting new Pokemon, and so forth. It's a dragon fighting type. Real cool. We haven't gotten something like that. Then it turns into Como O, which is, which I it can tell is a, 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 a play on the word Komodo a little bit, like Komodo dragon. And it turns into, again, this, what I gotta admit, is a cool samurai-looking dragon. I mean, I love myself samurai's dragons. Those are, that's a cool, cool concept. I think it's, a, I personally like the design a lot. Uh, and the, it said these guys watch over Jang Mo's return to their homeland of birth when they evolve. Said that glaring skills drive away great, a great darkness covering the world. The reason these Pokemon seek out battle is the game power to defeat the darkness. When it detects something approaching, a Pokemon rings its scales and tail, on its tail, they got to announce its presence. It has no desire to battle against weak Pokemon. Its greatest move is it is the uppercut. So it can learn Sky Uppercut too. Um, swings both its uh, it swings its arms up from below in a punch in great skill and force showing its foe. It also has a signature move called Changing Scales or Clanging Scales, which as far as we know only really just in decreases um, defense right now. Last but not least, we have um, Titan Null's evolution. Which is known as Silva uh, Sivali, Sivali, and here it is. It, it's an Arceus ripoff. Uh, its move for God, its uh, ability for God's sake, is called the RKS system. And I didn't really put that together. One well, there, focus. There we go. Yep. <laughs> I like how when it evolves, basically it evolves, takes off its mask, and it just it grows a little over a foot. It grows, yeah, it grows about a foot, uh, and it um. It's, it loses about, uh, what was it, 20 pounds? No, it loses about 40 pounds. So it gains its speed back. Uh, its tail is a bit brighter. Other than that, though, it looks the same with a different face. Um, it evolves by removing its helmet. And uh, it, 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 with a special item called a memory, you can change its typing. Whether, whatever you change its typing to, how you change its actual typing is still remains seen, but it was designed after a Pokemon uh, in mythology, obviously Arceus, because it's, again, its ability is called the RKS system. <sighs> a little on the nose there. A little on the nose. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's it looks cool. I do, See, I don't know how... I, I'm guessing that we receive it after beating Gladi Gladion a couple times. But Gladion's also shown using it both forms. In the trailers. So he's seen using Type Null and uh, Silvial, Savali. Excuse me. So I am a little... I'm, I'm a little confused about how we're supposed to add to our Pokedex then. Are, are there more Type Nulls? I'm not... I really can't say. Um... And of course we have a Lolan Grimer, and they explained that they import a Lolan Grimer to deal with a massive influx of garbage from the increased population, and that a Lolan garbage basically uh, changed it to a poison dark type, and those teeth are actually crystallized toxic uh, calcium deposits, whatever. So, okay, yeah, it's it's toxic and all that. Um, nothing really special there. It's designs, whatever. Designs not the greatest thing in the world. It's not the worst. But then it falls into a Lolan Muck, which looks like this. And I'm like, you have my attention. So along with mucks, they develop a lot more of the calcium deposits all over their bodies. Those are even are toxic the crystals on their bodies. Those are also toxic. Uh, they fall off here. You got to be careful. They're constantly hungry. What I find interesting about this, and it took me like a couple seconds looking at this. I'm like, what? But then I, after a little bit, I, I did gauge what I was looking at. And um, what I was looking at, essentially, is that Muck's, Muck's overall design is, think if you're mixing oil with water, you get that rainbow effect. That's basically what you're getting out of Muck here, which, when you think about it, would make some sense. Uh, we don't have anything that's really based on oil. I mean, yes, the Muck is based on sludge and all that, but and Grimer have always been based on sludge. However, uh, Island Challenge, there we go. Um, however... We haven't had something that really illustrates oil at all. Um, <clears throat> so, and then last but not least, we did get we get the, got the official reveal of Ilum, the first trial captain we meet in the Alola region. 
He's a graduate of the trainer school, which is where I was actually guessing we were going to meet him or her. Uh, actually, is it a he? That's not a, not a graduate from a trainer school and is a hero to the students. Still have isn't um, actually. I think this is actually a guy, and I thought it was a girl, but no, I think it's a guy. Uh, given that actual full artwork. Ooh, come on, focus, 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 focus. There we go. Yeah, based on the full artwork, I think that's a guy. Uh, and he has his little trial thing in the back. He's holding it like a key, uh, like a um, ponytail adornment, um, like a charm, basically. And I, I'm okay. – stop stuttering. I'm certain that these are the equivalent of your gym badges in this game, uh, these little key charms. There's going to be one for each island. Uh, because it, it, if you look at his, it, if you look at his, it also has like four different little segments that you fill up and its color is pink, a uh, pinkish color uh, to, uh, to symbolize, I think his normal typing that he's, uh, that he's down with. Um, <clears throat> so I'm assuming each of them are color coded for typing. Each of them are going to represent the badges basically. And you're going to get a little key change, whatever, through each, um, place you go because uh, going through uh, the other captains we still have are Mallow, Lana, uh, Sophocles, and Kiowe. They each have one and each is color coded to their respective types uh, and they're all Akala Islands as far as we know. Which speaking of which we also have Akala Islands Kahuna, Olivia, who I'm hearing a lot of people <laughs> just be like, damn, this, uh, and you know, even though it's a fictional hand-drawn animated character, yeah, damn. <laughs> Uh, now she is. Now she introduces something besides the fact that she's young. For they, they even say in her profile, say, she's kind of young um, uh, to be a, uh, a Kahuna. She's extremely skilled and can only be expected from someone chosen to serve as Kahuna. Yet she insists that she's still just a normal girl, and she's a Lycan rock, which is one thing that's very interesting. Is that she Kahuna specified a type that they use, so. That means that uh, Hala probably uses a specific type himself, and if based on what we saw with uh, the brief uh, image with him with the crow brawler, he's probably a fighting type user. Which right now, in terms of fighting types, what do we have for fighting types? Because we saw she has a, ro uh, a lichen rock, uh, midnight form, and a uh, nose pass to start with. But uh, how? What do we have for fighting types right now? I don't think we have any fighting Alola types, uh, like Alolan farms. I mean. Um, we have Snuffle and Beware. We have, oh, obviously the Crow Brawler. Uh, we have Jang Mo O, but I really doubt we're going to get to see a Jang Mo O on Melee Melee. Uh, we have Pan Simeon, so it's possible. I mean, actually, I can see maybe a Pan Simeon, um, as one of his Pokemon as well. Of course, we also don't know the rest of the Pokedex for the Alola region. Which, speaking of that, a nice little segue I didn't even intend to make. Uh, I did. I did. I crunched the numbers. Uh, you know, just counting what we have, what we're pro, what we're, what we know we're going to get, like evolution wise, and what we sh what we might likely get for certain evolutions. And I came up to the number that we currently have thirteen Lola forms and sixty nine Pokemon that we either have or are expected to have in the Lola region, and that rounds out to about eighty two Pokemon right now. I'm certain we'll get more. Uh, obviously, we'll get more evolutions, things along those lines. But um, in terms of other new Pokemon, like when I was factoring it before, I was always considering, uh, like, I was only ever factoring in one evolution for one, the guys that I, or Pokemon that I didn't think had more than one evolution or didn't know if they had one more evolution. Just, just to be fair, like um, Bon Sweet, I was always just giving it one evolution because I didn't know if it'd have an extra one. It had an extra one, as it turns out. Like, I'm constantly, I'm anytime I do this, I'm giving um, Comfy and uh, Wimpod and Salandit an, an evolution, just one, because I feel like each of them has an extra form to them. Uh, particularly Salandit and Wimpod. Wimpod, I can guarantee you, probably has an evolution, at least one. Um, <clears throat> so right now we stand at 82 Pokemon overall, and I'm certain we'll have, I'm certain as a whole we'll have like over 100 new Pokemon, uh, if you count a little farms and what we have right now, but we, but given what I have right now, I think the number stands around 69 Alolan Pokemon, and then 13 Alolan forms for about 82. So we'll see if we'll get any more uh, Pokemon reveals over the weekend leading up to the demo on the, the 18th. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who wins, put those in the comments below, too. I do get to those. 
Uh, especially if you have an idea for the who would win next month for the Bleach fights with Gini Chimaru, put that in the comments below. I have one lined up, but if I think yours is better, I would place it and then save mine for a different day. Uh, I have no other plans for today in terms of videos, but if something happens, I'll do a video when I get home from work. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you folks next